This is probably going to be one of my most random vlog video things I've ever done. I also cut my finger today, so ignore the band-aid. It wasn't that bad, but it sucked. Uh, I have this random box that is uh, Brooks Misk Memory Stuff Bedroom, and it's really not like memory stuff. It was just like, okay, when I moved here to the United States, I... Just, this is just miscellaneous stuff, and I labeled the box so I knew that it was miscellaneous stuff. And there's some memory stuff in here, but it's also just random ass stuff. So we're just gonna go through it. Um, there is something in here that I specifically want to show you guys, so that was kind of what prompted this video. And also later, this is actually why I'm even making a video. I got this monster, it's a new one that I saw at the gas station, and it is called Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. And I wanted to try it with you guys on camera, but I thought it would be boring if that was like all that I was doing. So we're going to try this later. I kind of did my makeup to match it because I just thought vibes. So that's going to be happening in a little bit, but we're going to go through this. Okay. The first thing, pirate eye patch. This is because I make Derek sometimes dress up as a pirate. Not really, mostly just Halloween. There was like one time for Halloween, I made him dress up as a pirate and this was just randomly in there. So that's the first thing. Uh, the next thing is, oh, two things came out. Some lights, I guess Christmas lights, but I just like to use them for like stuff, like putting them around like a mirror or something. I should really put these up, to be honest. Those are cool. Uh, the next thing, oh my god. Okay, so basically this box, I know it has a lot of Marianas Trench stuff in it. If you guys didn't know, Marianas Trench is my favorite band ever. It was my favorite band, like even more so when I was in like grade 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, you know, like all my high school years, I was obsessed with Marianas Trench. If you knew me, you knew. I was crazy. I wouldn't shut up about them on Facebook. I lived and breathed Marianas Trench. I love Josh Ramsey, the lead singer. I love them all. I love all of the members, Josh, Ian, Matt, and Mike, but Josh Ramsey obsess obsession was real. So this is my uh, Marianas Trench VIP uh, super fan little lanyard thing that I got because I, I met them in Windsor, Windsor, Ontario on April 3rd. And I, I got a picture with them. I'll maybe put the picture in. I'm so mad about how I looked in that picture. First of all, I was like 17. I don't even know how old I was. I was young and I didn't look that cool yet and for some reason I I had recently got like a hair crimper waver thing and I hadn't really used it before and I just decided for some reason that the day that I was going to be meeting Marianas Trench and getting a photo with them that I was going to crimp, crimp my hair, wave my hair, I don't know. I didn't like it. I still had brown hair. I hadn't fully gone into like my emo goth dark Sylvanas phase yet so it's not that good of a picture but I'll put it in to show you guys. Next, ooh, we got some like drawings and stuff. I don't know what this is. It's actually technically upside down because this would technically be right side up. But I, I tried to draw Ashes of Alar, which is a mount in World of Warcraft. And then I kind of tried to draw like Tempest Keep, the like raid that you go to. Basically this was like, I think two years ago, Derek and I went and sat outside in his backyard on a little blanket and we decided to just like paint and we both suck at painting like we have no idea what we're doing at all in any way shape or form but I I was like I'm gonna just try to draw a phoenix and like I said I don't know why I I guess like his wings are going the wrong way like technically they should go that way but it's it's a interpretation of Ashes of Alar. So that is really cool. I enjoy the colors of that. Some of this, I don't even know what's in some of this, to be honest. What is this? A notebook? There might be some really weird things in here. Oh, look. Marianas Trench Day. 10.03.11, because October 3rd, I think is when Fix Me came out, their first album. I don't know, but, but we, Marianas Trench and the fans dubbed it as, uh, Marianas Trench Day, so I was really excited. Uh, To-do list. History essay one hour every night. Page four of essay handout. <gasps> Resumes, Zellers, drugstores, the mall. Wow, oh my God, what the hell? Oh my God, money, job, trench fund, 20%. I'm guessing that I was planning when I got my first job to put 20% aside to go to Marianas Trench concerts and stuff. That is bomb, 30% for myself. 
10% for gifts and 30% for my future. I don't think that I stuck to this at all. Wow, oh my god! Singing with James. Open mic. Okay, basically, I used to take a music class in high school. I think it was just one year. And I had this friend, James. James Stemler, I think is his name. I might have to link this to him so that he can, like, see it because this was years ago. But we were in a music class together and they were doing, like, a, a Christmas singing event thing. I think it was. I don't know. We like chose a Christmas song to sing and we like practiced together and then we sang it in front of the class and that was the first and only time I ever sang in front of the class. There was no um, recording of it but we sang uh, Baby Please Come Home by Josh Ramsey, Marianas Trench again. Lots of Marianas Trench eras and my friend James was a huge like Marianas Trench friend with me in school. He was the bomb. Okay, can't stay too long. Marianas, a masterpiece done with this random notebook. That was a blast. Let me show you something kind of more exciting. Again, Marianne's Trench themed. Uh, my friend Sarah and I from high school, I mean she was my best friend, like literally we grew up together and since kindergarten we were best friends and we lived around the corner from each other and then I think that this was 2012. We went to a Marianne's Trench concert together for Canada Day so we were like oh my god let's get Canada hats. Canada Day umbrella hats and we wore these to the concert together. That is such a vibe. I love Canada. This is actually legit bringing me back. But uh, we ended up meeting, uh, who did we meet? Mike. We met Mike, the bassist of Marianna's Trench, and he signed our little umbrella hats. So she has one too. I don't know if she still has it. Uh, I would be kind of low-key disappointed if she didn't, but she might have gotten rid of it. But I will also put in pictures of our outfits that day because it was iconic. I will never get rid of this. The iconic Canada Day Marianas Trench Concert Umbrella Day hats. That was, oh god, so much fun. And then, this was the main reason why I wanted to show this to you guys because this was from that same concert. Okay, I got the coolest thing ever. This is one of my most prized possessions. I don't even know why I have it just stuffed in this box. I guess so that it's like safe. This is Josh Ramsey's tie. Hold on. Basically, at that Canada Day concert, Josh Ramsey was wearing this tie, which is the same tie. I'm gonna put it on because vibes. Uh, this was the same tie I believe that he wore in the Celebrity Status music video, which is crazy because that was the first song that I ever heard from them ever. And he wore this on stage and I guess at some point he took it off. I don't know. I guess he was going crazy and took off his tie and it was somewhere on the stage. And it was actually funny. My friend and I had kind of like not good seats. We were just like somewhere randomly in the crowd, like on the grass field. And then one of the photographers that was like there to take pictures of the show um, was like going around and he was gonna bring like maybe three or four people up into the VIP section. And he was like, whoever can be the loudest, like who's the super fans here? And like my friend and I, and we met another girl named Anna there. And we, we three were like hanging out and we started freaking out. And we're like, oh my God, I wanna go to the front. And he actually took us and he like pulled us over the railing and led us over into the VIP section. And we got to be in the VIP section for the whole concert. It was amazing. And then we actually like became friends with the photographer. Like he kept like hanging out with us and coming to say hi to us during the show. And then at the end of the concert, he, I guess, saw that Josh left this on the stage and he went and got it because like Josh wasn't coming back or anything. It was just there, the show was long over. And he brought it to my friends and I, and I think he said to pick a number between like one and 10 or something. I don't remember what number I said or if that even was the question. It might have been between 1 and 100, but I ended up getting it out of my three friends and I have had it ever since. And then when I met them in Windsor, how I was saying earlier that I went to like an actual VIP meet and greet concert, I got them all to sign it. So I have all of their um, signatures on the tie. So this is legit like the coolest thing that I own and like, oh God, I just love it. And now I think is a good time. I don't wanna save this to like the very end because that would be sort of boring. So now that we've kind of told some of the fun little memory stories, let's give this monster a try. I'm really nervous because I don't usually like um, anything other than the green one, like just the original. God, I'm like scared. This is like the slowest. Okay, there we go. Ooh, it smells like grapefruit. Ultra Fantasy Ruby Red. It probably is great, great, great fruit. All right, I'm gonna try the first sip and I will let you guys know what I think of it. 
Okay. Definitely a grapefruit vibe. What are the ingredients? Does it even say? Dun, dun, dun. That doesn't say anything about the flavor, bro. That's just a bunch of weird ingredients that I cannot uh, pronounce. Uh, it's not bad, but it doesn't have that, like, when you're drinking, like, a green original Monster Energy drink, I feel like it feels like you're, like, drinking, like, acid or, like, gasoline or something. Not literally, but, like, it, the taste is so intense. Like, it feels wrong to be drinking it, but, like, it's so good. I don't really know. I think it's just because it reminds me so much of, like, my core, like, emo days. And it's just like, oh, this is so emo to be drinking this. But this one is definitely a lot more, like, it kind of just tastes like juice. Like, it tastes like soda that's more like juice. And it's just not, like, that, like, energy drink kind of flavor. It's pretty cool, though. I definitely like the aesthetic of the can. I'll probably keep this one forever. I used to collect monster cans and the tabs and I had like a monster necklace like who didn't have that back in the day but then I stopped but I think I will definitely keep this one. It's like it's it's good. It's good but I would choose the green one over it. Okay we're gonna take a break from the drink and go back into our random box, we're kind of getting there. Oh god, I see an old picture of my ex and I from when we did one of those, like, photo booth things at the mall where, like, you get your little strip of photos, so that's gonna be fun. Oh my god. Rose petals! Derek and I use these for Valentine's Day uh, to try to kind of have, like, a The Room themed. I don't know if you guys know the movie The Room with Tommy Wiseau and um, there's like rose petals and like roses. I don't even know if there's petals, but they definitely have a rose during one of their lovemaking scenes. So that was what that was for. That was cool. Oh, I think that these are some of our ring boxes for like our wedding rings, but they're just empty. There's nothing in them, but just so that we have the OG wedding ring boxes and all that good stuff. There is a, another one. I have, there's three of them because there's Derek's and mine, which I am wearing right here. My ring is like a amethyst. It's really cool. Uh, but then there was also my engagement ring, which was Derek's mom's ring. So that's why we have that box. Oh my God, an old school Marianas Trench ticket. Ah, oh, that is dope. What is this? Saturday, November 13th, 2010. Oh my God, this was my first ever Mariana's Trench concert. That was so cool. They were like, my dad was at one of those, I think it was called the Toronto Royal Winter Fair in 2010 and my dad was there with like a booth uh, selling some stuff. He, my dad used to do a business selling uh, steel garbage bins that bears could not break into because that was a big issue in Canada was uh, bears breaking in. So he doesn't do it anymore, but my dad used to have a business called tidy bin and I will put a picture in for context but he was there selling those so I went with him for that weekend and this concert was also happening in that same hall convention so that was really really cool next oh my god okay I can't believe that I'm going to show you this this is hilarious it feels a little weird to talk about one of my exes but to be honest this was probably one of my only decent boyfriends that I ever had in my entire life his name was Andrew this was us. Uh, we played World of Warcraft together. He was one of my only boyfriends that I had who ever played World of Warcraft. All of my other exes and boyfriends never played World of Warcraft. And guess what? All the ones who didn't play WoW were shit. The one who did play WoW was my only decent boyfriend. So that is, uh, I don't really know why I have that, but I'm going to keep it because World of Warcraft memories are good. We are getting there. There was just a couple of things left. One of them is a jewelry bag for all of those rings. And then another thing is a card that I got from one of my shoppers, Drug Mart uh, co-workers who made me a little card congratulating me on my marriage. Oh my god, this, this is deep. Do you see this? Socks's fur of memory with some stickers. This is my cat. This was my first cat that died too young. Oh my god, I'm gonna cry. Look at his little fur. I cut off some of his little gray fur. Oh my god, the memories. Little gray fur. Do you see that? It's my cat. Mm -hmm. That's so sad. I forgot that that was in there. My first kitty, he died too young. I don't know what happened to him, but I think he was only like nine or ten. 
when he died and it was really really sad oh god I have a another Marianas Trench uh, concert ticket with Simple Plan. I think pretty much all that I have left, whoops, is some drawings that I did. I was like trying to practice learning how to draw so I was just kind of pulling up images on like Google and trying to replicate them. So there is uh, Espeon and Umbreon together on a little crescent moon and then obviously I was going through a Pokemon phase. Here is a few more that I was trying to do. They're very cute. I dig it. Uh, more Pokemon stuff. I love Vaporeon. I feel like Vaporeon is low-key my favorite, but I also like Espeon because of purple. Uh, this was a drawing of Sylvanas Windrunner that one of my exes did, who was a horrible boyfriend, but this is cool. This was probably the best thing that came out of that relationship. This one! This was something that one of my friends sent me. Her Instagram is Dragon's Mew. I don't know if she changed it, but her name is Maria, and she sent me a little, like, package and drew a cute little thing, so that is super, super cute. I love that so much. Random thing from a magazine. I guess I was stoked and cut this out from a magazine. It's just like a World of Warcraft keyboard thing, so that was cool. A picture of Marianas Trench that has been autographed. So I think I got that with my VIP bundle when I met them. God, what icons. I literally adore them so much. This is the last of it. I guess that this is kind of on par, yep, with all of that other World of Warcraft, the little cutout that I found. Just some more random little, like, pamphlets that came in, like, stuff. You know, just World of Warcraft stuff. So that's everything. That is the whole, my little memory box. Like I said, this video was so random, I don't know what the point was, but I had a really good time uh, sharing that with you guys and just going through some random stuff that I haven't looked at in, like, a year or more. I don't know. It's been a while. I think that that is all that I have to say. I'm gonna go and enjoy this monster and work on some World of Warcraft video stuff. And if you like Marianas Trench, if you're also a fan, and if you've heard of them at all, comment down below because I'm super curious because they, um, you know, they're like a relatively small band. They're from Canada, you know, it's not like super crazy. So anytime that I can meet any Marianas Trench fans, it's super cool. If you haven't heard of them, also let me know. Maybe go check them out. Let me know what you think. Anyways, I am actually officially gonna go. I think my husband wants to go mow the lawn, so I'm gonna help him by like blowing using the blower to fix it up and everything. I don't know why I'm like holding this on display, but that is a thing. Please, Monster, sponsor me. I've been a long time uh, drinker of your products. Very huge fan. Uh, but anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!